Uh, in the walk of faith, there is a sound that is impossible for us to get used to. Uh, it often comes abruptly, and it always happens surprisingly. Uh, it's inaudible, but it is powerful. And most of us can name specific places and times in our lives when we heard that sound. And I'm referring to the sound that occurs when God closes a door. Now, the thing that makes it so difficult is that we usually misinterpret that sound. It often comes on the heels of a strong commitment to obedience, being filled with the Spirit, going through a season of prayer, often over weeks of time, followed by hard work, diligent effort, the counsel of others, and then slam, that door shuts. And to make it even more difficult is that following the closing of the door, there is silence, deafening silence, God's silence. Where are you, God? Times like that, we are humbly reminded that he is the potter and we are the clay. He is the master, and we are the servant. We say we willingly bow before him, that he is our God, and he is our guide, O oh great Jehovah. I'm just a pilgrim in a barren land. And I'm, I'm moving toward the goal of honoring you and serving you and now this to make it even more difficult God does not tell us why certainly not then God rarely if ever explains why one thing is for sure when that door closes we do not think at that moment this is going to lead me to something better the uh, Scottish essayist Thomas Carlyle 19th century writer essayist, historian, put it this way. When the oak tree is felled, the whole forest echoes with it. But a hundred acorns are planted silently by some unnoticed breeze. When the door slams on our face, we don't think that poetically. All we can hear is the falling of our oak and the, the thud as it hits the forest destroying our dream, our hope, our anticipation. We don't think at that moment that there are some acorns being whisked away and blown to a place that will grow and bear fruit for God's glory through an open door. At a time like this, when the door closes, and some of you have had one close recently, that's when great theology needs to kick in and true great truths come to our rescue. The first truth is that God is sovereign. Daniel 4, 35. All the inhabitants of the earth are as nothing. And he does according to his will in the army of heaven and among the inhabitants of the earth. And no one can ward off his hand or say to him, what are you doing? The psalmist put it this way in 115, 3. Our God is in the heavens. He does whatever he pleases. Sort of point blank. In your face, I'm in charge. The other great truth is that God's plan is profound and often to us very strange. Revelation 3, 7 tells us, He is the one who opens and no one closes. He closes and no one opens. And there's no explanation following that statement. You feel like a failure. You feel like you uh, uh, were poor in planning. You weren't sensitive to the Holy Spirit. None of the above is true. God closed the door. But we're not ready to understand closed doors. We like open doors, especially when we're not told why they closed. Remember, God is sovereign, and God's plan is profound and often so strange. Get on past the closed doors. There's something great to be reaped by going to the open one.
things. Since God is sovereign, He is in full control on both sides of any door. Being in full control, God takes full responsibility for the results. The closing of a good opportunity occurs in order to lead us to an even better one. Not until you walk through the open door and look back do you realize the necessity of the other doors being I have no idea what closed doors you are living with. For all I know, you are going through self-loathing and blame. Or even worse, you may be blaming someone else because a door closed. Because I don't know which one to speak to directly, I speak to all of you and say, let it be. Let the oak fall. Let the acorns scatter. God moves in mysterious ways His wonders to perform. He plants His footstep on the sea and rides upon the storm. Deep in unfathomable minds of never-failing skill, He treasures up His bright design and works His sovereign will. Let it be.